They gotta go, so I'm about to go to the nail shop right now and get them cut down. I'm not getting them completely off. I ain't doing that because I just wouldn't be me if I ain't had nails. But they're getting cut down considerably, like a whole whole lot. And then the color is leaving as well. Um, I have to stick with like new neutral colors or whatever. So I'll probably get like a new pink. That's generally what I'll get. Like that's what I'll get and stick to. So one last look at them, y'all. So freaking pretty and um we got a nice little ride too like the nail salon that i have to go to um it's not the one that i always go to like everybody should have like a place in mind that they can go to whenever they get a little pinch you know what i'm saying because your girl is in a pinch <laughs> the girl that does my nails i didn't reach out in enough time to try and get an appointment so which is on me because i knew i knew i couldn't have these nails on but forgot like, I ain't even got no real excuse as to why I didn't reach out in time because I knew I had to do it um I think I was just hopefully like you know maybe I was a little bit in denial like oh they not gonna care you know first day orientation they're not gonna be looking at your nails but um because I don't need a feel that bad I mean I need a feel I do need a feel it's just not horrible I could have went a few more days in my book so um yeah so anyway they just gotta go they just gotta go um, I'm so, I have mixed feelings about clinicals, like, I'm excited that, you know, this is it, like, this is your last semester, um, in school, like, after this, you are done with clinicals for a while, and I say a while because I know I'm going to go back to school, so after I, um, graduate this LPN to RN Bridge, I have to go back for my bachelor's, and then, um, ultimately, like, my end goal is to be a nurse practitioner, so, um, I just hope, you know, I don't let this burnout get the best of me because I swear I was in school, like, back to back to back to back to back. You know what I mean? And I'm, I'm kind of tired. Like, I'm tired of school. Like, I want to take a break. Like, but the downside of taking a break is, is that I get so comfortable, you know, and that I don't have the desire to still want to go on. So, that's something I'm going to have to deal with in the future. Um, right now, I'm just focusing on taking it day by day and just getting through this. So, um, as far as homework goes, like it's still week one. Um, I have one more, only one more assignment left to complete for this week. And I'm going to try, I'm going to try, I'm going to try to get it done today. Like right now, it's 510. I should make it to the nail salon about mm, like 530-ish. Um maybe a little bit before no by the time i get in there and sit down it's probably be about like 5 30. so like by the time i leave up out of there like i know i'm gonna be tired i still gotta go home i got my clothes together already because i had them washed and put up you know since last semester ended so i don't have to worry about that um i have my shield i have um my best friend she hooked me up with some n95 mask so i didn't have to purchase any out of my pocket um so, I mean, I really don't have much left to do other than just take my behind the bed. <laughs> and I don't know what it is about me, but like when I know I have something important to do the next day, like it's so hard for me to fall asleep. It's so hard. Um, so, I'm going to try my best. I'm going to take my ashwagandha and my melatonin, ideally around like 9 o'clock. Um make sure the kids is good to go because um, my boyfriend has to take them to school tomorrow too uh, which you know it's not like it's a hard thing or whatever because 
they their school was literally two minutes away from our house like just two minutes um so it's not like he has to travel far or anything but and it's not new to him because when I went through LPN school, baby, he was my biggest rock, my biggest, you know, support system because um, I had to be to school before they did. And he got up every day and took all the kids to school and he picked them up from school because they got out before I did while I did school, clinical, you know, and on my weekends, I had tests every Monday. So every weekend I was studying, you know what I mean? So I honestly, I don't want to say I couldn't have did it without him, you know what I mean? But it would have been a whole lot harder, you know what I mean? Like. And I probably wouldn't have graduated third in my class. Like, it wouldn't have been as easy. You know what I mean? If it wasn't for him. Financially, physically, mentally, like, the whole nine. So, I'm super appreciative for him. But anyway, so let me get off of this soapbox. Not even a soapbox. But let me get off of this topic. And on to the next. So, I don't know if any of y'all watch Love and Marriage Huntsville. But y'all, this show this show like it had me hooked from the beginning like so initially the first episode like it, it the pilot made it seem as if it was going to be just a show about black power couples black excellence you know what i'm saying doing a thing you know in real estate getting together buying land like just doing big things you know i'm like and i'm all for that you know what i'm saying but somewhere along the line the, you know the show took a slight turn and i say slight because they still doing the damn thing like they still making big deals they're still all black entrepreneurs doing their thing like getting to that bag and i love to see it on a national platform like own but like i was saying like the show had took a little turn you know what i'm saying just a slight just a little slight turn when it comes to um one of the main couples so um martel and melody hope they were married they were like you know couple goals to a whole lot of people because they was doing the thing like they own you know multiple businesses and she was branching out and doing all these other things and you know they were just so cute you know what I mean like out in public but it then came out that Mr. Martel Holt had a mistress <laughs> and this mistress is now known to the world as coleslaw <laughs> little side piece <laughs> she's a little side dish she's, she's America's she's America's side chick her um her given name though was Arion Curry and I'm bringing this up because I just recently watched an interview that she did um with Tasha K who's also a um YouTuber and in this interview y'all she just made herself seem so stupid like just so dumb like and she kept saying oh I'm so smart I'm so smart that's why he liked me because I'm so smart I'm so smart but she's using you know she didn't know the definition of nothing like she kept oh my tire pressure low 24 Oh, I gotta hurry up and get to my man. Oh, I ain't get. Oh, 21 is going down as I drive. Ah, oh, shit. What the motherfuck? Let me get off of this, y'all. I gotta go. Let me call my man. I got a fucking flat. I'm so mad. I'm so mad. Um, I'm at the gas station. And uh, my boyfriend's on his way. We were actually going to the same place. That's the crazy part. We were both going to the mall for two different reasons. And we decided to take two separate cars because, like, you know, I'm going to get my nails done. Like, he was running in and out, and I was going to be there for a while. So, I had to call him so he can turn around and come help me. <laughs> like, this would happen a day before clinical. I mean, thank God we have another vehicle that I can, you know, drive, worst case scenario, and, and I keep AAA. If I don't do nothing else, I keep AAA. Y'all, make sure y'all got y'all some AAA. Like, seriously. Because you never know when you might need it. Um, mm -mm -mm, I'm so mad. I'm so mad. But there is a nail shop across the street. But, shit, they might, I wonder if they take walk-ins. Because this, this still got to get addressed. Like, yes, the tire is important. I need to take care of that. But this needs to get addressed too because I am not. I did not come this far to get kicked out over no nails. You know what I'm saying? Like, or to get demerits or points or none of that stuff over no nails. Um, and I don't want to take them completely off because then every time I take them off myself, like, I hurt myself. You know what I mean? But anyway, so yeah, I'm just sitting here. I'm waiting. Um, y'all, I was just sitting in my car. I didn't even get out. And two guys came over, like, hey, do you know you have a flat? Nah. I don't, I don't know. 
Mm -mm, I'm just sitting here just because. Like, <laughs> yes, I know. Like, thank you. Trying to be sweet. Uh, my boyfriend's on the way. But, like, two of them. Two of them. One guy, you know, um, backed his car in real nice and, you know, kept, you know, kept doing the hands, trying to get my attention or whatever. He was like, hey, um, I'm not for sure if you know, but you, you have a flight. Can I help you? Do you need help? I'm like, no, no, I'm okay. My boyfriend's on the way. He was like, oh, okay. <laughs> so, because I said boyfriend, like, okay, well, damn. Yeah. Damn. My bad. But, yeah, dudes are funny dudes are funny that way but anyway back to my story because i might as well talk because i got time now i got a little bit of i got free time so um martel melody the side chick okay so um it comes out that martel has a little side piece and oh he here my man here I was gonna say just call fucking triple A, but that's even better. Okay. been in here for a long time. I don't want them though. I think that's why they've been sitting in there. There's no spare tire? Zero PSI. spare tire I was getting put on but long story short I'm not gonna make it in time to get my nails done <laughs> it's now after six o'clock um the donut you can only ride up to 80 miles on they said um so I'm just oh shit I want to go through town um so just to be on the safe side I don't want no more accidents nothing else crazy i'm just going home i'm going home i'm parking this car and um my boyfriend was going you know follow me home and then we could have gotten his car and gone together or i could have you know just got in the truck got home and got into the truck and then went out there but by the time i do all that like they're gonna be closing in less than an hour and then god forbid somebody there you know what i mean like it's just it's not finna happen it's not finna happen and I'm so, I'm so disappointed in myself because I knew I had to do this. Like I knew well in advance, you know, of when school was starting, when my clinical was gonna be and when I needed to have these things off. So I'm sure this late in the game, I'm not gonna get off scot-free. Like I'm sure there's going to be like a demerit, a, a point, whatever they want to call it, it's, it's going to be something. And I didn't went through this whole school experience with none, zero. Like, I don't know if I didn't get too comfortable. I don't know, I don't know. I don't know, but I need to do a reset. Like I need to do a reset, refresh on my life and my priorities. Cause I'm really like disappointed in myself. Hmm. But anyway, I'm almost home. My daughter just texted me saying, oh yeah, don't forget I need notebooks and pencils. And so um, there's a dollar store literally around the corner from my house. So I'm gonna run in there, grab her these notebooks, go home, start cooking, and <laughs> I guess finish my homework. Try and make the rest of the day productive. 
too. So I guess I'll talk to y'all later. Hopefully then, matter of fact, I don't know, I'll be in better spirits then because I would have had time to process all of these feelings and I'll be straight. So I'll see y'all later. Hi guys, it's Brittany from the future. Y'all like my hair? You, you, you call me? Some, somebody say something. Come on, let me stop playing. But anyway, so this is Brittany from the future. This is editing Brittany, I guess you can say. And let me sit down. And um, in this vlog, I started talking about a few things. So I just wanted to go back and make sure that I finished the story. You know what I'm saying? Because it did kind of end abruptly. So, hotel. Hotel, aka Martel Hope, had this baby or whatever um with the side chick coleslaw and um so she did this interview with tasha k right and uh during this interview like she just made herself seem so stupid i don't know if she was nervous or what y'all but she made herself seem so dumb so like for example let me give you some examples so she was saying like oh i was raised in a, a two-parent household you know and i didn't um you know but with my mom and my dad or whatever so tasha k was like oh okay so how do you feel that you come from a two-parent household but your kids aren't being raised in one or something along those lines y'all i'm paraphrasing and she's like well what do you mean like she's like no we had a two I, it's a two-parent household and tasha k like yeah like your mom and dad both in the same house she was like oh no 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 two-parent household my mom over here my dad over there so you had a single you grew up with a single mom she's like yeah but my dad was my dad had a, a wife or whatever girl that is not the definition of a two-parent household number one what else does little uh this chick say that was just real dumb like she just she just said a whole bunch of real dumb stuff y'all but anyway my question that i wanted to pose to y'all is why do side chicks why why be a side chick like if you a side chick feel free to you know chime in fill me in but why why be a side chick like i heard some people say like oh um when you a side chick you get all the benefits of being a girl without having to do the work but you don't get holidays you don't get vacations well i guess maybe you do i don't know like i, I just don't get it like i don't get it i don't get it and then with they situation, like, you done went through all of this. You've been dealing with this man off and on for, like, eight, nine, ten years or however long it's been. He divorced, and he, and he he still ain't with you. You didn't have this baby, and he still ain't with you. Sis, why? And you won't apologize to this lady. Like, you ruined their, their marriage. Like, and you just don't care. And you don't got the man. You don't got the man. You don't got nothing but another baby. You ain't getting no screen time, like, cause she wanna be on the show. She wanna be on Love and Marriage Hip Hop, Hip -hop. <laughs> Love and Marriage Huntsville so bad. Like, she wanna be on that show so bad, but I don't know, girl. I'ma pray for you. I'ma pray for you because clearly this whole side chick thing didn't pan out how you wanted. Like, what's your end goal? What was your end goal? Cause you know you got pregnant multiple times according to you to this interview. Like, this wasn't your first pregnancy. And not only was it not her first pregnancy, it was not the first time that her and Mel were pregnant at the same time, girl. It's some hot mess, y'all. Just go watch the show. Go watch the show so we can come back and we can talk about it in the comments because it's just, it's crazy to me. Like, it's crazy. But, um, what else did I want to say? What else did I want to say? Oh, okay. So, intro into the next day because, again, everything ended abruptly due to me getting the flat tire um so the next day me and the bestie um i got invited last minute to like a little girls night pajama party or whatever and that's what y'all about to see right now so let's get into it i'm too sexy for this chain too sexy for your game too sexy for this fame yeah yeah i'm too sexy for the trap too sexy for that cap too sexy for that jack yeah yeah okay all right that's fine Okay, okay, I'm feeling too sexy to accept requests And I'm way too sexy to go unprotected And she popped a Tesla, now she gonna let you Okay, alright, that's fine I don't swallow 60,000 Section need more tanks in here 